Former Somali National Army Chief Odawa Yusuf Rage has issued a scathing rebuke of Ethiopia's recent agreement with the breakaway region of Somaliland, which would give landlocked Ethiopia long-sought access to the Gulf of Aden, a clear violation of its sovereignty. In a statement on Facebook, Rage described the move as a lack of understanding and a betrayal of history, calling on the Somali people to unite in defence of their territorial integrity. Abiy Ahmed has forgotten the background of history. He is entwined with an invasion of his country's ethnic groups and a war with the Somali nation. The statements read, Raga, a respected figure in Somali military circles, emphasized the importance of protecting the nation's sovereignty. Our land, sea and air are not for sale, he asserted. The government is required to guide its people, he added. The former Somali National Army chief statement comes amid rising tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia following the signing of the agreement between Somalia's breakaway region of Somaliland and Ethiopia, which grants Ethiopia access to the port of Berbera and a military base. The deal has been met with fierce opposition in Mogadishu, with critics accusing Ethiopia of meddling in Somalia's internal affairs and jeopardizing the country's fragile unity. Protests erupted in several Somali cities, following the announcement of the agreement, with citizens expressing their dissatisfaction and calling on the government to take a firm stance against what they see as an infringement on their sovereignty. The United States on Wednesday rejected international recognition for breakaway Somaliland, and called for calm after the region's leaders signed a deal with Ethiopia. The United States recognizes the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Federal Republic of Somalia within its 1960 borders, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller told reporters. We join other partners in expressing our serious concern, he said, about the resulting spike in tensions in the Horn of Africa. In 2018, Ethiopia and Somaliland signed a deal that should have led to Addis Ababa owning a 19% stake in the port of Berbera, with the Emirati logistics company DP World holding a 51% share. But this fell through in 2022, as Ethiopia failed to meet the conditions needed to acquire the stake before the deadline, the authorities in Somaliland reportedly said at the time. <laughs> 